Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Welcome back to Kids Short Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. My name is Mr. Jim, and I live with my family in South Carolina with my three kids, and we love story time so much that we do stories every single day. So make sure that right now you smash the follow button so you can be a part of our story building family. Today's story comes to us from Ian and Samuel. Are you guys ready for a crazy story about the Sarcosaurus? Me too, let's go! Ian and Samuel were playing with their toys. They loved to build different mazes and cities where their cars could race through. Hey Samuel, how about we like put our cities together instead of two separate ones? Then it's one giant one said Ian. Ooh, I love that idea, said Samuel. Yeah, let's grab some more and connect right here. They connected the tracks together, which made an amazing mega city. What do you think would be more awesome if I shrunk you down to the size where you could drive around Hot Wheels cars on the tracks? Or would you rather be turned into a Hot Wheels car and zoom around on the tracks? (laughs) <laughs> I think I would rather be, oh, I don't know, I think I might want to turn into a real Hot Wheels car. That would be so cool. Ian, Samuel, shouted one of their parents. I need your help down here folding all this clothes. Come on. All right, I'll race you down, said Samuel. So Ian and Samuel raced down the stairs and stood in front of a ginormous pile of clean laundry. Wow. That's a big one, said Ian. Have you ever seen, like, a humongous pile of laundry? (laughs) It can take a long time to fold, but unfortunately, it doesn't magically just get folded. Somebody has to do it. And sometimes the biggest help that you could be is folding laundry. As Ian and Samuel grabbed some t-shirts and started to fold them and grabbed some shorts and socks and folded those as well, They started to plan their next adventure after they were done with this chore. All right, do you want to keep building or do you want to go outside and play? Asked Samuel. Uh, let's go outside, said Ian. I kind of want to like do an adventure, like find something amazing. Like maybe we can go searching for some kind of creature or an alien. (laughs) Samuel laughed. Ian loved looking for that kind of stuff. All right. Sure. They were just finishing up folding everything, and they were all now all these big piles of the different folded stuff, like a pile of folded t-shirts and a pile of folded socks. And all right, I'm gonna put all the socks away, shouted Ian as he grabbed them all in a big pile. He used his shirt as like a wheelbarrow as he filled the top of his shirt with a whole bunch of socks, and he carried them all the way up the stairs to their room. Samuel was close behind with a big pile of t-shirts. They had no idea of the adventure they were about to step into. All right, after we put these things away, let's go outside and what the... Ah! Shouted Ian. All the socks went flying everywhere. What's wrong? Said Samuel. There's a monster in my sock drawer, look! Samuel laughed and rolled his eyes. There's no such thing as a... What the... (laughs) Pretty soon, there were folded socks everywhere, and that nice folded pile of t-shirts was now a disaster laying on the ground. Did you see that thing? Said Ian. Yes, I did. It was like... Was it pink? Said Samuel. They were now less afraid and more curious and confused of what in the world they saw. It was this 
small fluffy creature that was moving around inside their sock drawer. Samuel picked up a hanger that had fallen down on the floor from the closet and used it as a tool to dig through the sock drawer. All right, who's in there? As he was poking it around, he heard a sound. Arrgh! Hey, stop doing that. Ian and Samuel couldn't believe it. There was a real talking pink monster in their sock drawer. Have you ever seen a pink monster in their sock drawer? Holy smokes. It sounds like the Sockosaurus. Dun, dun, dun. Samuel was able to move all the stuff to the side and was able to expose this pink fluffy monster. Hey, who are you and why are you in our sock drawer? Said Ian. I am the Sockosaurus, of course, and oh, I guess you caught me. I, I eat socks. You eat our socks? Said Samuel. Yes, they're very tasty, and and so I've been living here for a while, and I guess you didn't know. I, I, I promise I'm not going to hurt you. I just love to eat socks. Is that why we have all those missing pairs of socks? Said Ian. They remembered when they were folding all that laundry downstairs that there were a bunch of socks that they couldn't find the matches for, and it didn't make any sense until now. So you mean you just sneakily eat our socks without us knowing? Said Ian. Well, uh, that's the plan, but I guess now you know. That's what I do. I'm the Sockosaurus. I eat socks. Well, you gotta stop eating our socks. Like, we need those to put on our feet so that we can wear shoes, said Samuel. Well, then, what am I supposed to eat? Said the Sockosaurus. Hmm... Ian and Samuel looked at each other. Wait a second. We have a whole bunch of old small socks that don't fit us anymore. Where's that box of all our old stuff? Oh, it's in the garage. Let's go check. Ian and Samuel ran down to the garage, and sure enough, there was a box full of all their old clothes and stuff that they had grown out of, and there were a ton of socks in there. They brought them back up to their room and tossed one over to the Sockosaurus. Oh, that one's good. I like the old, uh, dirty ones. Those are my favorites. Ew, said Samuel. Well, I guess you can stay here if you want to, but you can't eat our new socks that we wear. You can eat our old ones. Do we have a deal? Oh, absolutely. I will take that deal, said the Sockosaurus. And that is the story of how Ian and Samuel found a friendly monster in their sock drawer who I guess is going to be hanging around for a little while eating all their old socks. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Grayson and Arden from British Columbia. Elon from Washington, Noah from England, Julian and Alexandra from Texas, Jackson from Istanbul, and Danny and Evie from Ireland. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Will you have a super duper day? (laughs) And I will see you next time. Bye.